right, let's play some Twisted Fizz, huh? Um, if you're someone that enjoys aggressive tempo decks, this is definitely the deck for you. So, um, this is a deck that, unlike a lot of decks in Runeterra, doesn't really lean super heavily into its champion selection. So, at its core, this deck is an elusive aggro deck. Elusive being that keyword that means your units can only be blocked by other elusives. So, we play Fizz in large part because we have a lot of cheap spells that can make him consistently elusive. He also protects himself when you play a spell, which is nice. He levels up very easily. When you've cast six plus spells, he notably doesn't have to see you cast those spells. So as you're just playing the game and taking game actions, he levels up incidentally. His leveled mode keeps his protection and evasion and gets a little bit bigger. And also makes you this chum in the waters cards, which kind of helps you control the board. Because it makes your opponent stuff vulnerable and it gives you uh, sharks to help interact with those things. Past just Fizz, this deck plays things like Golden Narwhal, Cheap Elusive... We've got Zap Sprayfin, another excellent elusive that generates card advantage by drawing a spell out of our deck, as well as Slippery Wave Rider here at the top end of our curve. And then we pair with these elusives cards like Shared Spoils, which makes units in our deck bigger, as well as Starlit Seer. Starlit Seer is a card that can really be impressive in this archetype. It's not uncommon to get Starlit Seer down and then play three, four, five spells before you draw a unit and then like suddenly you have a fizz or an elusive unit that's suddenly very huge and ends the game very quickly. Um, in addition to our elusive threats, we also have a smattering of interaction with things like flash freeze as well as harsh winds. So frostbite sets a unit's power to zero till end of turn. These effects are very good against the lease index that have become popular since that card was buffed and are really excellent at helping you swing a race in your favor with the elusive. So this archetype is very big about using its life total as a resource while stalling your opponent's board a little bit while you beat them down with evasive threats. Bad Whammer Jammer, thank you for the 21 months of support. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Let's go ahead and dive on into some games here at Twisted Fizz and see how it goes. is playing Shen Fiora. Getting close, Dark Rider. I think I'm full mulliganing here. Maybe Twisted Fate's good to keep because it interacts with their board a little bit. Shen Fiora tends to be a little bit aggressive, so red card could be good. Gold card could also buy us a turn with him. It's a fine hand. Yeah, gold, gold card is often good here. This bird is your bird. This bird is my bird. Do, 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 do. Yep, yep, yep. So this has Challenger, which means it can force something to block. So that's generally speaking something Fizz can't protect himself from. However, we've got both Elixir and Troll Chance here that can make that make that not be uh, not be a reasonable option. So I get to go ahead and put this here, and then Troll Chant is going to let me make this bigger and this smaller. So this is notably not going to get to strike this turn because it has zero power. We get to eat their thing here, and we get to put a free point on them. Troll Chant looking very excellent there. Now, there's a question of, do I Twisted Fate Red card to kill this, or do I zap and start pushing damage? I think I want to zap and start pushing damage. I think I, think I want to get my race on here. The eye of twilight sees all. So I could make this elusive by playing a spell, but I really don't want to burn a spell right now. So I think I'm just attacking for two. It 
see what they start on here. I kind of want to gold card this. We just do this and take six. A gift from the river folk. <sighs> if I play Wave Rider, I technically don't get value from the attune because I already have three spell mana, but I think that's okay. Just want to get my elusive down here. Yeah, yeah, playing in Shen Fior currently. Nature blesses her followers. We each defend our brethren. Okay, so this is five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I could fury here to make this elusive and then smack them, which I'm kind of into. a burst spell so it doesn't pass priority when I play it. Yeah, Twisted Fate Red card is probably our post-combat play. Wipe out these two ones. I'm always a round or two. Oh, I could have played. This one was a 3-3, three, three, right? Sloppy. What do you think is the next step? It depends on um, if you're looking to free to play or spend a little bit of money. If you're willing to put in a couple of dollars, I'd recommend just like building a constructed deck and playing a bunch with it. It's really easy to build a specific constructed deck in Rune Terra because um, I think I'm just passing here. It's really easy to build a specific constructed deck in Rune Terra because you can buy the singles you want directly, which is great. Okay, so we just flash freeze this, right? <laughs> I find them unworthy. Who would trespass you? Yeah, and unlike things like magic, like if you want to build a tiered deck in Rune Terra, it's super cheap to do so. It's like sub 20 bucks, depending on what you build. You can build anything for sub 30. There's a selection of decks you can build for like sub 10. Charmed, I'm sure. I don't have to worry about reach out of their deck, right? So I just Elixir of Iron here. And then say, okay, this happens. Just conceding. Yep. It was in the cart. Okay, so Zed Lee Sin here. I think I'm mulliganing everything except Hawk because you never mulligan Hawk on one. Looking for some Flash Freeze and some other interaction here. Like Twisted Fate and Flash Freeze are probably cards I'm looking for. Start by attacking with this, which triggers plunder, so we get to shared spoils now. Okay, yep. Looking into the future, I 
I see purple. Purple? Harsh Winds is not bad. So Lee Sin here gains Challenger when they play their first spell in the turn so he can make something block him. And then he gains Barrier to prevent damage. I will not hold back. My lands need me. No. Prepare yourself. I should probably eat this, huh? It's probably a mistake. It's actually a pretty mediocre hit here. I was hoping for another elusive threat. Not killing it definitely stresses their spells a little bit. Now they are a hush deck, right? So like our elusives aren't always guaranteed to get in. I think this turn I'm going Starlet Seer into Twisted Fate Blue card is my plan. I will not hold back. We see through all. We see through all. Silence my follower. Well, that's just weird. I mean, I guess I guess that happening to him instead of an elusive is kind of a win for me, right? I'm always up for a round or two. Red card to fill their hand. Nah, I think that's loose. Let me go on and just get my spell mana up. I mean, they're Leeson's leveling here either way. I think. I don't think. I don't think we're preventing Leeson from leveling. Their their deck is very very good at leveling Leeson. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. More than mere trinkets. Oh, I'm dead, aren't I? Prepare yourself. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be I would be very surprised if the opponent's archetype is left is left legal. <laughs> With Bastion, it's really not okay. <laughs> That's disgusting. See that coming. It was like almost okay, I think. It was almost okay when like Bastion wasn't a Grant spell shield, but like with Grant spell shield, even like Frostbites and Hushes aren't very good against this deck anymore. That's that's pretty rancid. At least this is like Rune Terra, so I'm not gonna be waiting 18 months for them to fix the problem. 
We're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait like two weeks tops. Uh, they had they had spell shield on it, so the card Bastion grants a spell shield. So I was I was unable to do anything about the release in there. Yeah, it's, that's fair. In, in, in general, the way Wizards manages their formats, I haven't been a fan of basically ever. It's a pretty reasonable take. I keep Fizz in the Elixir here. Oh boy, I, I don't know. Like, so far my experience playing with and against Bastion is limited, but... It feels like it's more representative of problems with Lee Sin more than problems with Bastion. Now, even before Riot existed, Ra Ra the way Riot manages their formats is basically how I've been asking Wizards to manage their formats for a decade. So, like, it's nice. It's nice and refreshing. No fear. Soggy Teemo confirms superior to not Soggy Teemo. Rude. Rude. Yeah, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of in that camp, Pelly. I wasn't a huge fan of Leeson's change even before the Bastion change. And I feel like the Bastion change just like highlights the Lisa issues even more. And stop staring. Yeah, it's just it's just protecting something that was already pretty non-interactive. Is exactly the issue, I think. Our hand is super awkward here, the fact that I just don't have anything to do. Sure, I could I could see that. I could see that precipic. It's fine, it's fine at four, like deny. There's and that's a that's a huge difference. I feel like that three versus four mana in Rune Terra is a big important step because three versus four means you can play it with save spell mana versus not. Which feels like an important distinction. Unfortunately, can't attack into this now. It's not a terrible pickup. See if we get uh, hushed here or not. Bastion Teemo does seem sweet. I agree. Hey, thanks for the biddies, Drills. I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed the Rune Terra stuff, too. Like I said in the YouTube post, I don't plan to stop making stuff. Just need to take a step back from magic for a bit. Just not. Not in a good spot with it. That's unfortunate. 
Just around holding up Troll Chant there. Yes, yes, press a pick. With the with the asterisk that just like decks, I'm not taking literal anything. Let's update this. So, Troll Champ plus Brittle Steel can team up to make this really sad, at least. I am here. I'm not panicking, you're panicking. I mean, your tier 3 is good for a variety segment now. Yeah, if, uh, depending on what game it is. Again, tentatively, asterisk. It also, it also depends on how many submissions I get to. Like, if I get a ton at that pricing, I might have to readjust again. So, I'm not really a f huge fan of Among Us. That's not one. That's not what I'm really interested in playing. Social social dungeon games really aren't my cup of tea. So this is a five. So I can go plus you pop this here. This makes him get that. And then I can put this here and Brittle Steal this. I have not played Breath of the Wild. That was... Would you take the new Doom? That's a single player game, right? Yeah, yeah, I think I'd take a single a single player shooter. I think that'd be fine. I'm not, I'm not really a fan of uh, competitive Twitch shooters in my old age. Although playing playing a game like Doom would show chat how how jumpy I am, which maybe they'd enjoy that. <laughs> I think we're probably dead here. Ooh, that's a it's a big fish, chat. It's a big fish. Come, guardian. Trespassers will be vanquished. So five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. Huh. So it's worth noting here that had I... Had I warning shot at or troll chanted last turn, this would have been big enough for lethal, right? Because I'm only attacking for 15 here. Hey, Finaliches, thanks for the 10 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. I'm doing variety segments because I've enjoyed playing different games. Variety's the spice of life. I also like, I would, I would like to try and ideally, as great as Riot's been and I'm enjoying Runeterra, I would like to try and make my content not be entirely dependent on one single company or game, if that makes sense.
That was easily the best draw in our deck. I think you're projecting your feelings onto other people, Blue Man. I think there's plenty of people that are enjoying magic for what it is now, and that's okay. How many mushrooms are my deck at this point? 18. So I put this here. I, f I harsh winds these two. I put this here. Uh, I'm taking four, five, six. I go to three. I can put this here and then troll chant. Alright, so this means I'm only taking two, right? Because this doesn't have Overwhelm currently. Them getting to kill Fizz instead of dealing two more to me feels like a win. To preserve beauty and protect all life. Stupid mushroom cards not letting me use the eye is really annoying. Great. Do they have a hush to beat these is a the question. Second warning shot, please. Second, second warning shot. Survey says. That's basically Twitter in a nutshell though, Orson. Yeah. Getting getting off of social media is uh it's good it's a good bit for anybody's mental health, much less someone like me that like has a lot of people shouting at it constantly. If people, if people want to reach me, they can do so in Twitch chat here. Chat's going to be open while we do Rune Terror and variety stuff. The subs Discord's a great place as well. Twitter. Twitter's got a, a really bad signal noise ratio. I mean, like, that game's a good example of, like, this deck's how this deck is good at using its life total as a resource, right? I think I'm only getting these two. We're going to keep Hawk and Shared Spoils. Maybe I don't keep Shared Spoils because I'm attacking on odds. I'm gonna look at the spoils actually. There's no guarantee I'm gonna be able to trigger that with Omen Hawk. Double, double Starlet Seer openers, really, really good usually. Opponent is playing Nocturne Diana, so looks like Nightfall. We see through all. We see through all. So. Again, I can attack with something the turn I play it, but I'd rather start the turn by attacking so this way my opponent doesn't have a chance to play out larger things as well. Yep, yep, yep. 
How easy is it to build a competitive deck? So the Rune Terra economy is the least predatory economy of any digital card game out there. In fact, it's the least predatory because it's not predatory at all. You can literally buy exactly the cards you want with the currency that you buy. So like you could pull up the meta decks or any of the decks that I have built and build them verbatim starting from nothing for less than 30 bucks for any one of them. If you want to free to play, you could also, also do that. There's a lot of people that said the free to play is very good. I'm a whale. I spend money. I I spent some money to get started and then Riot supports their creators. So Riot gave me some free wild cards as well after I'd been making stuff for a little bit. But even, even when I put some dollars in to get stuff to start, it's just like feels way better spending your money on Rune Terror than it does on Magic Arena. I think I'm just jump walking here. Dark Storm, thank you for the half a year Prime Support. I really appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. So I have to decide which spell do I want to burn to get a hit in with Fizz. I think I think I definitely want to get in with Fizz this turn because I would like to trigger Plunder on this and pump these up. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just Troll Chant here. Which triggers both of these. Then we'll attack with this for two. Which triggers plunder on this. So the next the next unit in our deck here is going to be huge. This will be a good winter. That is an 8-8 eight, eight Twisted Fate. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Pandora. And also, one of the things, too, that, like, because... And, and I think this is part of Magic's issue, too, is that, like, because Rune Terra is monetizing so heavily via cosmetics, it's, um, it's very easy for them to make adjustments on things because, um... It's easy for them to make adjustments on things because people aren't losing a ton of money, right? Hey, Chad, is this Twisted Fake good? Deal me in, partner. All right. It's above average, maybe. <laughs> Deal me in. Come on. They're taking their ball and they're going home. Plague, plague wind on an 80. All right. Confirmed. Confirmed reasonable. Wait. Wait, come back. Don't forget to tip your dealer, chat. Shen Fiora. Huh? I think Twisted Fate Gold card is excellent here. I definitely don't want Salvage to start. Uh, Zap might be okay. I definitely want Omen Hawk on one. The Mulligan Zap looking for something to fill curve in between Omen and Twisted Fate here. Opponent's archetype's kind of a mid-range control, uh, a mid-range aggro deck. They have things like Fiora with her Challenger that allow them to kind of keep the board in check, but they also have some pretty aggressive curves with some of their draws.
Her deck is weird. They can kill you by five, but they also play a nine drop. Yeah, exactly. That's a good one. Keep up, keep up. That's another good one. I don't think they're killing my fight this game. Big agree. The way they're passing makes me think, yeah, they must have, like, they must have a bunch of, like, Elmarts and stuff, huh? Never lost the fair game or played one, chat. Or played oh, one. Am I playing in North America? I am. Yeah, I, I, I am in Central Cornfield time. So if I play Zap here, I'll have five spell mana, which means I control chant and flash freeze, which seems good. This is so good right now, chat. Twisted Fate definitely goes on Twitter rants about paper formats. You think he's a boomer? Definitely, definitely a paper boomer. So I have uh, nine mana total here. This is basically four. So if I play this, I can't harsh win. So I think I just narwhal. Their pride will cost them. Be very quiet. We're hunting challengers. So even with repost here, I get to go ahead and elixir this. My friend. Every every time we play Twisted Fist, I feel like this deck's really underrepresented. This deck always feels super competitive every time we play it. I also think with the recent Leeson buff that Frostbite's in a pretty uniquely good spot in the, in the metagame, which definitely helped, but even even before the Leeson buff, I think this archetype was excellent. Welcome to everybody hanging out this morning, by the way. If you're a new viewer dropping in from the Rune Terra section on Twitch, welcome. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I stream full-time here. I'm going to be doing a bunch of Rune Terra and other variety stuff here this month. Plan to be here uh, every morning between about uh, 9 a.m. and noon Central Cornfield time, playing a couple of different Rune Terra decks. Lee Sin Zed, eh? I think we're mulliganing for some Frostbites here to be a little interactive. I also wouldn't mind a Twisted Fate, I don't think. I'm going to keep Starlet Seer in my hand. Probably not silence. Whatever I do for variety stuff, I want to be able to upload it to YouTube after. We see through all. It's a 
actually a great drop. So I get to play this, and then I get to warning shot, smack you for two, play shared spoils. What we want to sequence here will depend on what our opponent plays. Gems are superb. Bad for the team. Okay, just want to start let's here. Hey, hey, good morning, Wanderer. Fly away while you can. Pokemon TCG. That doesn't. That one's not very popular on Twitch, and like doing other card games tends to be tough because um, what's the word I'm searching for? It tends to be tough because you have to get cards for them. Hey, thank you for the very generous tier three Inhumane Rabbit. Inhuman Rabbit. I appreciate the eleven months. Welcome back. Glad to hear you'll be here regardless. Had a, had a long conversation with Christy about our finances and balances and metrics before taking deciding to take a month off of Magic. We'll see where. Interested to see where I end up at at the end of October. No lease in yet for the opponents really good for us. Okay, that's not guaranteed to be Lee Sin, but likely. Zed's pretty scary too. Uh, I think we just gold card here now, right? Never lost a fair game or played one. Hey, thanks for the 12 months. Give me some pepper. Let's get your sword to go with that shield. Thanks for keeping me around. Shaman Exile, welcome back. So this is not this is just gonna break the spell shield now, right? Hold it, partner. Only the worthy survive. It's just not even the ban announcements. Magic just hasn't felt like magic in recent months to me. It's just been tough in general. I think we do this and eat that. I just, I just realized I was largely unhappy engaging with magic and the things surrounding it. And there's just a lot of things in the world right now that kind of suck. So like having, having something that's supposed to be a source of fun and enjoyment not be that seemed like a bad thing to do. I think I'm going to warning shot here to get the triggers off of these in case I hit another elusive. And then next turn, if we brick on that, Zap can draw us a spell to still trigger Elusive on Fizz. Thud. <laughs> He's a big boy, chat. He is a big, that's a biggin'. Thunk. I think we just smashed everything, right? Like trouble. Hold still. Ugh. Uh, Ship it. Or all, all in. 
They have a hush here for this. If they have a hush for this, they're still taking 10. Concussive bomb. That's a really good one. Yeah, I mean, like, my my relationship with magic's a little more complicated, right? Because, like, it, like, it pays for me to live. So, like, there's definitely a consideration. Frostbite! 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 Dang it, Bobby. This thing is still four off? So this isn't leveling this turn at least, right? So we got that going for us. matter thank you for the 14 months i appreciate that welcome back thanks for keeping me around so this is going to draw me four cards next turn so if i find a zap or a salvage next turn we can level twisted fate which is pretty good They're still they're still dead to Narwhal, right? I fight with the dragon's fury. Is it taking to tell? This one costs five now, right? Yeah, like, if Hush didn't get nerfed here, we wouldn't have lethal, right? As someone who loves crappy tempo decks, this deck's a treat. Yeah, and we just smash all, right? Still dead. Still dead. Always on the run. No, I had a I had a flash freeze, right? So life steel shield didn't matter. Like, playing three flash trees right now, I think, is a must to most of these Spell Yard decks. How's this deck been? Excellent. I think this deck's super competitive, and I enjoy the play patterns a lot. If you're looking for an aggressive deck that's a little bit off the beaten path, I think this is a good, great choice. Nautilus, Maokai, Thresh. So definitely the deep, but a hot second. We're going to mulligan these two. We're going to keep Golden Narwhal and Zap. Yeah, usually um, the deep with like a one Thresh instead of the third Maokai. That is, that is exactly my experience, Blue Man. People who complain about Echo Chambers. Like, it's so weird to me 
how people don't understand that the way you do things in real life also translate to online. Like, blocking someone or muting someone on social media, it's really no different, in my opinion, than, like, walking away from someone at, like, a social gathering that you no longer want to have a conversation with, right? Like, why, why would I sit there and continue to listen to nonsense or things I don't care to hear rather than walk away from it? Like, that's the expectation in real life. It shouldn't be different on social media. Hey, thanks for the prime support, Arno. I really appreciate it. Thanks for keeping me around. I think it depends on your archetype, press a pick. So they're gonna get to attack and hook this, unfortunately. If they didn't open on attacks, we were gonna gold card this, but they were smart. We are going to go ahead and zap here. We'll probably zap into Slippery Wave Rider here. I, will tend this garden. I mean, it's not even just like things that are racist, right? Like there's plenty of things that are like, there's plenty of things that like aren't offensive that are still just like, I'd rather not listen to this, or I've heard this a hundred times before, so hearing it again from you doesn't doesn't change anything for me. Like I I definitely I definitely wouldn't wouldn't say everybody I block or mute's a bad person or saying bad things, but they're definitely people that I don't I don't really want to listen to anymore. Challengers are scary. Um, I guess we're just, uh, I guess we're just red carding here, right? This kills Hunter, Hunter, and that. And then I control chant, hopefully, to keep these alive through Thresh. It is, it is a big fizz. You are not wrong. Are you thinking about, like, atrocitying me here? Something for all. Deep gets crushed by Lee Sin. Yeah, I'd believe that. Yeah, yeah, I agree with the ruler, dude. I'm, so like, and again, we're supposed to get another injection of cards this month for this game, or early next month, late, late October, early November. Like, super, super excited to see where this game goes as it matures more. Literal, literal only bad thing I have to say is basically what, uh, is basically the size of the card pool. And that's going to get corrected very quickly. So they are deep now, which means some of their monsters that they play get bigger. Their Maokai is getting close to leveling, but this probably doesn't matter. We're either going to kill them with what we've got or we're not. 
Yeah, the, the communication level of the devs in general, not even just on Twitter, but just a existing, is, like, fantastic. Just their, their proactive communication, not even just, like, responding to people, but also just being like, hey, these are things we're watching for, we're paying close attention to these things. Uh, I'm taking most things in you, Endo. I'm not really super worried about my rank. Much much like when we play Magic, this isn't a tryhard stream. I think I'm just clearing bench space here, huh? Pino Graham, thank you for the 16 months. Yeah, yeah, exactly, press pick. Our, our goal isn't just like hammer it into a different deck. It's like, try to be competitive within the confines we've given ourselves. It's basically our loose, our loose goals. All right, so I have 12 mana total here, which means I can actually play all three of these, which is pretty sick. So I attack with these, they have to block, after they block I play full trickster. Is Fizz Teemo not playable anymore? Uh, I have not played it since the latest patch dropped. Last season when we played it, I think it ended up just being worse than what this deck does on average. So this is going to pull this out of combat and then rally, which means we get another attack token. So I'm going to get to attack with both of these. Yeah, Timo, Timo Bastion seems really sick after the Bastion, the Bastion buff. I agree. I agree if you wanted to start with Timo. If you want to play Timo, I would either play Frozen Mushrooms. I think you could work on that some more. Or, or try Timo, Timo Target. I did potentially get new tech with the Jagged Taskmaster buff. Ooh, that's a good thought, Violent Journey. Frozen mushrooms. I think there's a list in the queue. Yeah, line line seven in the deck queue has a has an iteration. Blessed by snow and stars. Attempting, attempting to kill Fizz. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. <sighs> Got him. And then again, that rallied, so I get to go ahead and attack here with my Elises again for lethal. But like, Rune Terra or Magic better? Well, I have a command for Magic at the moment. 
Runeterra is a lot of fun, and if you're someone who loves card games, I would highly recommend you check out Runeterra. The client is sweet. The client is fantastic. The gameplay is fast and sweet. It's gorgeous. I think it has a lot of, lot of potential as they add more cards to the game. Where is Magic on the other hand? Eh. How far am I into Horizon Zero Dawn? Uh, we're pretty far into Horizon Zero Dawn. I think we've been playing for... I think we've got almost 10 hours into it at this point. Uh, we actually had someone donate for Hades today. So I think we're probably going to do Hades uh, tomorrow night for the variety segment. Diana Nocturne, eh? Give it a mulligan, Fury. Keep these other ones, I think. Does Hades, does Hades play well on, on the noob stick? Does anybody, anybody know? I assume it does. It's a, it's a Switch game, right? It's a Switch game too, in addition to PC. So I assume it's going to play well on my Pro Controller. It's even better on the controller. Sweet. Glad to hear it. Yep, yep, yep. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to have to... With doing more variety stuff, I need to go on... If anybody has experience with capture cards, I need to do some Google searching to try and find an ideal one, but that's definitely on my, on my list of things to figure out this month is... Uh, is a PCIe capture card, so I could. No more lies. I, have a, I have a PlayStation 5 pre order and I have a Nintendo Switch. I wouldn't mind streaming some games on at some point. Hopefully, they don't have Pale Cascade here. If they do, I'm a little bit sad, but getting that used now rather than later is good fine. They're pretty plug and play now? Okay. They always have Pale Cascade. That's probably true. All right. Do I just Twisted Fate to kill this Diana now? I think so. All that glitters. Oh, no. The Elgato HD. Okay. Yeah, I have an old USB capture card, but... Uh, this is one of the Rune Terra decks that you can find up on my website. We've played it a bunch this season and last season. It's very, very competitive. A lot of fun. I'm also a sucker for tempo decks, though, so my opinion on that's probably a little biased. One star's whoopsie is another spark. Keep up, keep up. This leaves us enough spell mana to flash freeze this turn still, which is excellent. Creed. Super sweet champion. We get to go ahead and deploy Zap here. 
So we have another flash freeze. Sounds great. Hopefully keep Twisted Fate alive for a couple more turns here. Gonna get in with this because there's quick attack. Ekin Zanir, thank you for the 28 months of Prime support. It's a really long time. I appreciate you keeping me around. to play omen hawk there actually yeah i think that was a mistake i shouldn't have passed i should play omen hawk i don't really need to flash hold flash freeze anymore sweet Wait. so this is gonna level other allies have fearsome. Whenever you play a unit, give allies minus one O. Are these enough to keep me alive? I'm not sure that they are. Oh, well, I guess they can't shrink the attack on my things this turn, at least, right? Hesitation's a tell. Hesitation's a tell, opponent. Scourge, they're scourge yet. I will be heard. They will all scream as one. Why are you here? Blessed by snow and stars. This would be a good winter. I don't think I want to trade this for either of these. It's unfortunate that this is at six of eight, so I can't quite level him yet. I would like to draw a massive, I would like to draw a massive elusive unit, please. Oh, I could have put three damage on Nocturne. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Okay, this level's this level's Twisted Fate, right? And then if I would have put three damage on here. Oh! Oh, I could have warning shot it into this first. Oh, that's so good. That would have been way better. You can win. And I drew, I drew the elusive. That's kind of a tilt. Am I supposed to pick a card this to stop them from drawing two here? I think I am. Let them think it's luck. Yeah, I think I messed up this turn. I wasn't thinking about shared spoils. I wasn't thinking about shared spoils drawing drawing a card to level Twisted Fate. I definitely I definitely should have done that. Although I think we die to the atrocity regardless. Do we die to the atrocity regardless? The deck was stacked against us. If if I would have put 
three damage on Nocturne the previous turn, I might have survived. Yeah. Yeah, missing, missing the free block on the Nocturne was a big deal. Yeah, there were there were a lot a lot of permutations there. Yeah, I don't know. we could we could have made a lot of different decisions. They could have sequenced differently too. So it's hard it's hard to know that like I don't think there's a clear cut. We do this and then we win because everything just ends up different. Stupid stupid player agency. Why can't why can't there just be only one decision and it's easy? You make it or you don't. I think we actually go Hawk into Starlet Seer here and like wait for this down the line. And, and that's honestly, that's what, that's what really draws me, is draws me into Runeterra as a player. Like there's so many games in Runeterra where I look back after playing them and I'm like, man, I could have made six different decisions that game and three of them probably would have resulted in a different outcome if I would have thought through more things. Too much dog. Thank you for the 18 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. This attack might be a little aggressive. I think this deck's great, Warcraft. We've played it a bunch of times in the past. I think I think Frostbite in particular is really well positioned right now with all the Leeson stuff going around. I think this one's a great choice. Do they have the bags in the door? Eh, I think I think that's a really unfair characterization, New Bar Muse. In in fact, I actually think Magic Hat or Rune Terra has more similarities to Magic than a lot of other games that exist. And that's not necessarily a bad thing, right? Like, just because the games have similarities in the same genre doesn't doesn't mean they're inherently bad. Like you build you build on the shoulders of things that come before you. One of one of the reasons why Rune Terra is the great game that it is, is because it's gotten to learn from 26 years of magic's mistakes. Hey, hey, Jay, well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Thank you for the 14 months. Yeah, I, I, I genuinely, anybody who's a card game player, I think you'll, you'll on average end up enjoying this one. I think we're just pushing damage here. So if I play a spell, Fizzle gain Elusive. So I'm going to go ahead and play this, which lets me draw two. It'll trigger this as well. And then we can get in for five this turn, which is nice. Hey, there's a Shared Spoils. Yeah, yeah, not th yeah, that too, Precipic. Rune Terror also has influences from Hearthstone in a good way too. Like the the invoke mechanic, for instance. I think the invoke mechanic is in large part a better version of um Hearthstone's discover mechanic. This card is actually really good against us. Uh, this does not have a native OSX client currently. It does have a uh, iOS client for mobile. So if you have an iPad or an iPhone, it'll work on that. I'm just keeping this alive still. I don't really have a good way to interact with these. Feels real bad. Can't say no to Fizz. Can't say no to Fizz. Is this a playful trickster turn? I think this is a playful trickster turn.
So this will pull this back and then give me a rally, rally so I get to attack again. Ooh. How close is Fizz to level up? Uh, close-ish. So we can actually level Fizz and get an attack with him on this next turn, right? Like if this happens, they take this hit, I can go Shared Spoils plus Warning Shot and level him. Mm, we can interact off Chum on the Waters. That's a good call. We're so, we're so close, chat. Wait, red card is lethal, right? They are they are targeted, so like their region has a lot of healing in it. The frost reveals all to me. Yeah, yeah, definitely opening on red card. Please play a dial-up dragon. 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 Tap out. Tap out. Play an 8-drop. Yes! One American warning shot, please. It was in the cards. <laughs> freedom, and you get a freedom shot, and you get a freedom shot. Everybody gets a freedom shot. <sighs> Let freedom ring. All right, Maokai Nautilus, another deep matchup. Never mulliganing Hawk on one. Think I'm mulliganing these. I'm going to keep my elusive threat. As a newer player, any tips? Um, there are a number of challenges that are optional after you play through the tutorial levels. Play all of the challenge levels. They will really help you get a good feel of how the priority system works and the different uh, keyword mechanics in the game. So, um, the money for that actually is going to get refunded automatically, Matt Maxson, because I don't hold that, um, what's it called, does. So, it'll, it's going to end up back your way automatically. If you'd like to make a donation or ship it to your candidate of choice, I definitely, definitely would not mind. That's a swale, swale idea. Think we're just playing this to use our mana. Not a super exciting play, but it is what it is. Hey, it lets us curve out. Oh boy, here I go. Here I go. The single player lab. My life's been so crazy. Can anybody give me a TLDR on what the single player lab is? Your deck gets emblems, sort of. And if you get progressively harder AI decks, interesting. Precon decks versus AI with a mini story and you add cards similar to Expedition each levels. Neat. That is a really interesting thing to see them kind of try and expand into.
through the coral. Hello, oldest son. How you doing? Good. The car whipping, Daddy. Hmm. A whip. You saw a card rip? Yeah, they tossed them away. They tossed their cards away. Because they didn't want them anymore. They're trying to make their deck really tiny so they can make their cards super powerful. Really? Really. Deck? Their guys are kind of grass looking, aren't they? they they're playing like a plant monster? They have played grass hide monsters. They play grass hide monsters. Really? Oh, I was going to say, really unfortunate we don't have a plus two defense, but that's actually a 7-7 seven, seven now, so it doesn't matter. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, that is. The big fish ate our, ate our guy. The big fish ate the guy. The big fish All right, so I think we put this here and then we'll put this here to chump block and we can go ahead and troll chant, give this two life and give this minus two attack and now this only gains one. Because when they have less cards, their monsters get scarier. Yeah, look how scary this monster is. He's huge. Look how big his mouth is compared to the person. I think the guy could catch me. I think, I think we're going to lose this one. You think we're going to lose this one? Maybe. We're going to try and sneak it out. Our deck, our deck is very sneaky. So we have 3, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 damage on board here. Plus I have two points here. What big card right here? This is the narwhal. Narwhal. The yeah. golden narwhal. Uh -oh. You know what sound a narwhal makes? Hmm. Hmm. I believe you narwhal. We're going to use the narwhal, yep. We're moving, we're moving it. Okay, if we... Yeah, we could theoretically level Fizz for lethal here. But he's only at two out of six, so it's going to be a little bit tough. Fink could actually be helpful here. So, are we going for that? I feel like I'm going for that, huh? How about if we start with this and we playful trickster Fizz here? Because we've got plenty of protection for him. Playful Trickster has been really absurd this set. Uh, they're not lost the rest of the game, Blue Perfection. You just basically take a partial mulligan in Runeterra. So you look at your starting four cards and you can shuffle any number of them back into your deck and then draw replacements for them. So if they have Ruination here, we could be in trouble. Oh, uh, outside outside of Ruination, we're in a really good spot. But don't you prefer Narwhal? You get you. Oh, get Our Narwhal is very sneaky. Strong too? He's strong and sneaky, yep. Yeah, play that one. Play it and we stop, okay? How we get? How we quit? Oh no, nothing. Alright, so they're dead. Their sea monster ate one of our guys, but I think we're gonna win, Jake. We're gonna sneak past him. The narwhal snuck past and we won! How the narwhal eating that one? 
the narwhal is elusive. He's super sneaky. Why? Super sneaky. All right, Daddy's all done playing card games. I love you. I'll be upstairs in a little bit, okay? All right, as far as this one goes, I think I'm pretty happy with this configuration. Um, I believe this is card for card. What's up on my website? Let me double check. I think I, I might not have added the third frostbite up there. If it's not, I'm going to update it. Yeah, the list. So the list on my site is missing the third, the third flash freeze. I'm going to go ahead and swap that in. I'm really, really happy with where this list is at. I think if you're looking for an aggressive deck that has a, a touch of interaction in it, I think this is a great choice. Both Flash Freeze and Harsh Winds are excellent cards in the format right now. Um, the fallback plan of Starlet Seer, Shared Spoils, and uh, Omen Hawk making one card individually very powerful is very good. Um... Moving forward, I posted about this on Twitter last night and in the subs discord, but I am, my plan for October is I'm going to see if Runeterra stuff and doing a little bit of variety can support myself doing content full time. So my plan for October is to do variety segments every evening and two Runeterra decks every morning. So uh, Monday, Monday through Friday, I'm going to be doing Runeterra for three hours in the morning and then I'm going to fill in various uh, different uh, strategy, shooter, puzzle games, and stuff that we can have here in the evening. As always, a lot of the decks that we're going to be playing are uh, our viewer submissions here. So there's still a deck queue up on my site, which also has a variety queue games in it too. So like tomorrow, for example, we're going to play Dragon's Might and Timo Timo's Entreat. And uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. I'll be back tonight with some Renowned Explorers, which is a puzzle game up on Steam. Yeah. And uh, hopefully see some of you here for that. Peace, folks. I'll catch all of y'all around real soon, hopefully. And remember, if you missed anything, in addition to going up on my website, there is a tab here that has all of my Terra stuff on it, as well as my YouTube channel, which has lots of stuff sorted into lots of different playlists. So, peace, folks.